I've never before hesitated to assure you that our city is strong. But I won't say those words tonight. Our city is under attack. Our daily life is unrecognizable. We are bowed and we are worn down. We are grieving our dead. In LA, almost all of us who can stay home are staying home. You can see it in the clear skies. You can feel it breathing our air. You can see it in the empty freeways. And so many of us are abiding by the steps that we've asked Angelinos to take. And I want to say thank you to everybody here. I know this can be a befuddling crisis. Almost feels like driving down a, a foggy road that's bumpy. You never know when there's gonna be an off ramp, when the next bump will hit. There's so much that seems unknown. This Los Angeles is willing to lead the recovery just as we moved fast when this pandemic arrived on our shores. But we are not broken, nor will we ever be. So the real question, the real test is how we will come back. Not just our initial response and recovery, but our commitment to each other and to long-term change. That spirit we have felt each night at home and across our neighborhoods and across this city, that is the spirit that must move our economic recovery and our commitment to heal an unjust world. But we can forever promise ourselves that the next threat we face we will face stronger and more equal, with the chasm between rich and poor closed and covered. We can promise ourselves that we will leave behind the old normal in favor of a new justice. We will get through this because of the connections that we share as a city family and as human beings that care for one another. I said, we're also at home, and we're bent, we're grieving, but we are not broken. That we have the ability to reimagine a moment in which we will once again rise and fly in this city of angels.